Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I make New York City based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity. Today, we're gonna go get dessert at a place called Spot Dessert Bar. There are two locations in the city. One is on the Lower East Side and the other one is in Flushing, Queens. We're gonna go to the Lower East Side location today. And before we get there, we're gonna explore the area and see St. Mark's Place. Let's get going. We're gonna take the art train and get off at 8th Street, NYU. Around this area, you'll notice many buildings belonging to New York University. There are over 50,000 students at this university. Here we are at Washington Square Park. In the center, there is always something going on, whether it's music, dancers, other types of entertainers, and other fun activities. Let's take a walk through the park and see what's happening today. You know spring is here when you see these beautiful blooming trees in the city. From far away, this looked like a cherry blossom, but the flowers were not completely pink. As I got closer, I noticed that the flowers were white. I can already hear some music coming from the center of the park. On this particular day, there was a band. Washington Square Park is named for George Washington, the first president of the United States. This is the Washington Arch, completely made out of marble in the late 1800s. It replaced the wooden arch that honored the centennial of the first president's inauguration. Statues of Washington were installed on the north side. Fifth Avenue actually ran through the arch until 1964, when the park was closed off to all traffic at the insistence of the Greenwich Village residents. Zooming in, you can see the beautiful, intricate architecture. Such a great landmark to take pictures in front of. Not too far from the park is New York City's first board game cafe called The Uncommons. There were a few tables set up outside and you can hear the excitement in those players' voices. I love how the inside is decorated. You'll walk in and just see so many board games from floor to ceiling on either side. And in the middle, you can get coffee and tea and some other snacks. It costs $10 per person for three hours of play. If you are a student, there's a discount for you. It's always crowded in here, so it's a good idea to reserve a table. Most of the empty tables were already reserved. If you walk up north to 14th Street, you'll come across Union Square. On the day I went, there was a farmer's market. And of course I had to stop by the sheep farm. We're now on a street called St. Mark's Place in the East Village. In 1651, Peter Stuyvesant bought the land around this area from the Dutch West India Company. In this three block stretch, the largest number of cultural and historical luminaries have left their imprint. Leon Trotsky, W. H. Arden, James Fenimore Cooper, Andy Warhol, Led Zeppelin, Rolling Stones, Billy Joel, and Jack Linden, plus many more, have either lived here, filmed music videos, founded schools, or shot album covers on this street. During Prohibition, speakeasies used to be located here. Today, St. Mark's attracts young people and hipsters to its bars, restaurants, karaoke spots, clothing stores, and tattoo parlors. Here's the same type of tree we saw at Washington Square Park. Restaurants here and businesses are stacked one on top of the other. Cute stores such as this one are found here. This is an Asian goods store where you can find anything from makeup, body lotion, food, various snacks, and other products. 
Here's a walk down the makeup aisle. You'll see that there's bronzers, really adorable body lotions with towels, hair care products, every single type of colored nail polish, and other unique products. Now let's head into Spot Dessert Bar and claim our table. On this Saturday, we had to make reservations. It's super simple to do so, just using your phone and scanning a barcode. Looking at their menu, we can see that Spot offers various diverse desserts that have unique visual appeal. All of their main desserts cost almost $14, but you can also have cookies and pastries for $4 each. All of their desserts look so good. The most difficult part is going to be picking just one. Although they do have package options where you can share two or three desserts with a group of people. The Sundays are exclusive to their Flushing location. You can also get bubble tea here and individual ice cream scoops. Now I'll show you what I got. I got the Harvest Dessert. It has soft cheesecake, layers of berries, Oreo crumbs on top, and is served with Earl Grey milk tea on the side and raspberry sorbet. It's dedicated to Earth Day, and for every harvest, part of the proceeds will go to feeding the less fortunate. What you want to do is take some milk and it'll water your plants. So I'm going to do that now. Oh, yeah, it's milk. I mean, oh my God. Let's dig into this deliciousness. The aftermath of the dessert. All done. Nothing left. But it was super good. Completing this week's video is another college in the area. This is Cooper Union. It was established in 1859 and grants degrees in art, architecture, and engineering. I love this building so much. It stands out from all of the other ones surrounding it. The school is very selective. Only 13% of applicants are accepted. If you're one of those lucky college students, then you'll have St. Mark's Place right in your backyard. Thanks so much for watching this week's vlog. Join me on Instagram at Miss Anna Adventures for more New York City contents. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I look forward to hearing you and seeing you in my next video. Bye!